Hey guys and welcome back to another Pixelgun 3D video and today I'm going to be looking at which spell is the best. But this is going to be a top 5 list because, you know, there's 5 spells so it worked out pretty well. But of course, you know, this is just my opinion but maybe pretty accurate because I've been playing this game for quite a long time now. So I hope you guys all enjoy the video and let's get right into it. Okay, so in at number 5, we have, of course, the love spell. And, you know, this is pretty self-explanatory, because just look at this thing. It thing, it's so bad. This is definitely the worst spell on the game at the moment. As you can see in the gameplay in the background, it's very hard to aim, but, you know, overall, against low-level players with a max level love spell, this thing isn't too bad. But, once you start versing adamant armored players at higher levels, this thing, it's not good, guys. Just don't buy this if you're in Adamant League. Unless, you know, you have extra coins and gems. But on the other hand, if you like, you know, hearts and pink stuff, this thing might be the weapon for you. I don't know. It's all up to opinion, basically. If you're really good at aiming and, you know... Oh, yeah, and the special ability on this is Charm, which, uh, if you didn't know what that means, is basically if you hit them with this weapon... Uh, and they fire back at you, their bullet will do way less damage, which, you know, can be good in some cases if the other person's spamming Ghost Lantern and stuff. I'm not sure if it uh, counters Ghost Lantern yet, though, just because I haven't versed the Ghost Lantern in a long time. Uh, so, basically, as a low level, you might want to buy this thing, and if you like campaign and survival, maybe buy this thing. But if you want a high league with adamant armored players, definitely a no. And that's why it came in as number 5 on this list. And down in the comments, I want you guys to tell me if any of you actually get extremely good gameplay against Adamant Armored players. Because, you know, I doubt any of you really do. Because, you know, just look at this. I, like, I've been running around half of the match without any ammo because of how low the mag size is. And whenever you pick up ammo, it only gives you 10 bullets, which is rarely enough to kill anybody which, you know, kind of sucks, because if you don't have ammo, you can't kill anyone. And another counter to this weapon is, if they have a jetpack, it is so hard to hit them in the air. And look, guys, I'm I'm struggling against low-level players, and if you're struggling against low-level players, then of course you're not going to want to buy this weapon. Coming in at number four is the Frostbeam spell. So this thing overall, you know, it's not even that bad, but with the power of the other ones, on this list, well, coming up on this list, this thing is definitely number four on basically anyone's list. Because, you know, low mag size, and whenever you pick up ammo, it only gives you 10 bullets, which, you know, isn't enough to kill anyone. But a good thing about this weapon is that it slows your enemy down so much, but its damage is really low, so if you're versing adamant armored players, this thing struggles extremely bad. But on the other hand, it counters ghost lantern like any spammer basically and but if you're versing other people to slow down weapon you know this thing is going to die because this is probably one of the worst slowdown weapons on the game at the moment but this weapon it's actually really good at low level gameplay and if you know how to use it correctly you can actually you know switch to a different weapon like a sniper and then one shot them while they're still walking really slow so I guess this thing can be like a good side weapon, which it kind of is, it's in a special category. But with all of the like extremely good, fun to use special weapons, you know, it's not good enough. For me at least. I'd highly recommend you pick up something else, like other than this, like the ice, like anything else that slows them down is great. And in this special category, I actually do recommend one of these kinds of weapons that slow them down, like that guy over there, he was using it. Just because, you know, in the case that you're versing a spammer, like a heavy spammer, this thing can come in clutch for you extremely, you know, it's, it's extremely good against in that situation. And if you master it, this thing can tear anyone apart, guys. Of course, you're not going to be getting a lot of kills with it, but if you're ace at aiming, then maybe, this may be the weapon for you. 
But overall, this is not as good as any of the other ones that are going to be on this list, and that's why it is in at number 4. Coming in at number 3, and guys, this thing was so hard for me to choose between, like, one other thing on this list and this thing. Because this thing actually is a great weapon, and I highly recommend that you pick this thing up eventually. So, as you can see, this thing is easy to use but the problem with this is it has no scope in button so it can be countered quite easily if someone has a jetpack or if it's on a quite a big map and <laughs> look at that guy's name running back 2 fan thanks you guys so much but back to the list uh so what was i gonna say so this thing overall really good weapon but you know yeah, like, all of these spells are actually extremely good. And the reason why I like this one is because it has area damage, so all you have to do is shoot at the ground, and you don't have to shoot at the character specifically, as you can see right there. And it is really easy to pick up fury kills with this, since its ammo is quite high. And, you know, if you're versing low-level players, this thing tears, but high-level players... And that this is why it is in at number 3, is because at Adamant League, this thing really struggles because everyone has extremely good gadgets and it takes like four shots which you know can be pretty hard when everyone else has one shot weapons like the anti hero rifle and the ghost lantern but of course this thing can be a great combo weapon if you have jetpack and you know thunder spell if you can just fly straight up in the air and then splash damage everyone and this thing is great on small maps but not as good on big maps just because you know of course no aiming thing which makes sense because you know it's a spell book but very unique too i love this thing because it's one of the very few uh area of damage weapons in the sniper section which is kind of cool but overall really good weapon i guess and it's actually worth putting in your armory if you have enough coins and gems Okay, coming in at the number two spot on this list is the Bee Swarm spell. And, you know, pretty self-explanatory. This thing takes very little skill. You can just sit in the corner spamming it, which makes it actually a really good weapon. And these things do a lot of damage and are area of damage as well as the Thunder spell, which makes this thing extremely good and easy to use. But it is a spammy weapon and can be easily countered by things like Ghost Lantern and pets. Of course, pets, you know, <laughs> they're pretty overpowered because this thing targets pets over people, I'm pretty sure. As you can see, like, it will go after that penguin right there, I think. Which makes it pretty hard when everyone has level 6 pets. And if you are not careless with where you're aiming, that you can actually kill yourself with this, which kind of sucks with losing points like that but if you are playing on small maps like the coliseum of course this thing is great if you have high jumps thing <laughs> i mean boots guys i accidentally said thing plus another positive of this thing is i'm pretty sure it costs coins correct me if i'm wrong down in the description or i mean comments but of course if you don't like aiming a lot this thing is great i mean <laughs> what's not to like about a no aim weapon but of course, this was really hard to choose between the Thunder spell and the Bee Swarm spell just because they're both basically equal power in some cases. But the reason why I chose this one over the Thunder spell is because this thing is better against Adamant Armor players. And in some cases, this thing can be more useful on small maps. And it's in the primary section, which a lot of people have a hard time using primary weapons because. And I mean, this thing doesn't really even feel like a primary weapon. But it is, which is kind of cool. If you're bad with primary weapon, this thing is really good, and I highly recommend you pick this up. And that's why it is in at number two on this list. And coming in at number one, we have the fireball spell. And I'm pretty sure everyone knows that this thing is the best spell, and possibly the best premium weapon in Pick's Gun at the moment. This thing has a great fire rate, and it, I mean, just look at it. It's so good, and it looks great. Fireball texture's amazing. What's not to like about this weapon, guys? Good at high level, good at low level, cost coins at beginning. You know, perfect weapon, guys. Probably one of my favorite weapons in this game. And at low levels, it one-shots. And at higher levels against this adamant armor player, it actually two-shots. Which, you know, 
great, you know, <laughs> so good. Just look at that fireball, it looks so cool. Steam coming off of it, the book waves and everything. By far the best spell in the game. Plus, if you're high level, oh, have a nice device like mine with the armory button and everything, the death animation looks insane, guys. Just look at this. It they just turns like ash. It's so cool. And in my opinion, the best death animation on this game. Unlike every other spell, this thing is good on every single map on the game, you know? You can you can just snipe people with this basically. It's an area of weapon damage, so it's good with uh on small maps. Plus, if you put boots and a high jump mask on this loadout, you can you can like only use this weapon and win every single round, guys. And against the Ghost Lantern, this thing isn't half bad, you know? You only have to hit them twice. Really good. Fast speed, you're running really fast and everything. Right now, I want to know if any of you actually hate this weapon, because honestly, I don't know why you would, but I want to know if any of you don't like this weapon. Plus, this one was one of the first spells added into the game, which makes it even more rare and unique and everything. There is no other fireball thing in the game, I don't think, other than the dragons, which makes this thing the number one spot and a must-have for me. Now, just a quick recap. At number 5, we had the love spell. At number 4, we had the frostbeam spell. At number 3, we had the thunder spell. At number 2, we had the bee swarm spell and at number one we had the fire spell well fireball spell just an insanely good weapon and i'm pretty sure this is at the top of everyone else's lists and one quick thing i want to say is my friends list is completely ruined i it still says i have all my friends and everything and people can still invite me but it's, it's glitch for some reason and i don't know why but anyways thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you all in the next one peace out guys